Welcome to my channel Creative Art. I am Nalima and today friends I am going to tell you about all the materials we need to make a beautiful sculpture painting like this. With just a little bit of practice you will be able to make this kind of beautiful sculpture painting yourself. So friends do watch the complete video and do subscribe my channel friends for more creative art painting videos. And do press the bell icon to get notification for each video I post every week. All the materials shown in this video are listed in the description box below with their links from where you can buy them online. And friends, uh, let me tell you the special offers given by Little Bird Itsy Bitsy on Sculpture Paste are most of the time 20% but sometimes you can also get them for 50% off. So let's check out all the materials now friends. To make a beautiful sculpture painting like this, you need to have the right knowledge about the materials. So to make a sculpture painting, first of all and most important, you're going to need a sculpture paste. So sculpture paste are available from different brands in variety of colors. In India, we do have a little bird itsy bitsy sculpture paste which comes in two different sizes of a bottle packaging and variety of beautiful colors. The smaller jar like this one is of 160 gram which will cost you about 279 rupees. And most of the time these sculpture paste are available on discount on their website from 10% to 50% off. I have bought all these sculpture paste on 50% off. The next jar you get is of 400 grams which costs you about 599 rupees. So this Indian brand is the only brand which gives you sculpture paste at this price. Next we are going to need palette knives. So palette knives do come in different size and shapes. I do have 18 different types of palette knives. But if you are a beginner, you don't need to have all of them at a time. There are two most important palette knives according to me and I'm used to it is number 10 Mount Martha palette knife which looks like this. And second one is number 1002HS. The palette knife looks like this. This one I generally use to make lily flowers or leaves. And this one is used for making most of the flowers. It just depends on how you want to make use of it. And then you can buy rest of the palette knives if you get used to this painting. Or you can directly buy the set of 5 palette knives which will minimum cost you 250 to 300 rupees. Next and the third most important thing is always your base. Always make sure to buy a hard base which should have thickness about at least 0.5 centimeter. The thickness is really important because once you have made your painting you cannot change it and always make sure to buy a long lasting good quality base for any of your paintings. For example this is a 0.5 centimeter hard MDF board square cutout which you can get for rupees 49. You can also use a canvas board. These are also good for your sculpture paste painting. You can also use this kind of big to small round cutout MDF board pieces. They do come in different sizes. For example this one is 18 to 8 inches. This one is 10 into 10 inches and this one is 12 into 12 inches. So this one is the most preferable size for my paintings and this costed me about 169 rupees. But this product is really worth it because of the thickness of the MDF board I get here. It never bends and do last long as compared to any thin MDF boards. The next thing you need for flower making is pollens. So they do come in different grades and variety of colors. These ones are the thinnest which are of black color. This is the pink medium size. These ones are a dwell shaded pollens and this packet you can see white pollens. These are the biggest size of pollens you can get. You can also get variety of 
ready-made pollens or center for the flowers like lotus or lily so this one packet of pollen costed me rupees 30 and these ones a single bunch can cost you from a rupees 10 to 25 rupees depending on the type and from where you buy them next essential thing is the ceramic cones using this ceramic cones you can draw different designs on your base you can also make the stem or draw some whales they come in variety of shades and each cone can cost you from rupees 25 to 30 so this is a really affordable and a great thing for your sculpture painting next are the stencils so you can definitely buy so many different type of stencils online and there are so many variety of designs and you can do so much using just these simple stencils you can see for this painting i have used this stencil and the effect looks so pretty and beautiful so stencils do come in different shapes sizes and designs and the cost of each one does vary the next item you can use for decorating your base is the mixed media paste this is two in one gesso modeling paste and you have to use it using a palette knife and a stencil so stencils are also very useful for making this kind of beautiful designs for the background of your base and it really gives such beautiful effects so the next item is crackle paste so this is one of the easiest crackle paste in market you can get you have to simply scoop it out using a palette knife and place it on the base smoothen it out let it get dry naturally and you will get such beautiful crackle effect on the base so this crackle paste of a 180 gram pack costs you about 249 rupees and this product is really worth it some of the other materials i like to use for my paintings are brushes definitely brushes to color my base or do different things or sometimes color the flowers or change the shade of the flowers so i do use flat hair brush for the base and different numbers of round hair brush for few detailing parts next i also use tweezer to place the pollens in the center of the flower like this it is really very helpful and this kind of pearls so i do have different shapes and sizes of pearls which i do like to place in the center of the flower sometimes and other than that friends sometimes i do love to use some acrylic color and the neon colors are my favorite just to give some touch up and brightness on the edgings of the flower in my future video you'll definitely see using me these neon colors and other than that friends i also do like to use some acrylic colors on the top of my sculpture paste sometimes i do mix it with my sculpture paste to change the shade of my sculpture paste but make sure whenever you add color in your sculpture paste add it just a little amount because you can always color your sculpture painting so friends all these sculpture painting materials are listed in the description box below with their links from where you can also buy them online i hope this video was helpful for you so friends do tell me in the comments below how did you like my video friends and if you do like my videos please do like share and subscribe my channel have a nice day and thank you for watching